Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. And today we will discuss all about the fifth month of pregnancy. We will start the video with the size of baby. At this stage, the height of a baby from crown to rump is about six and a half inches. While your baby is definitely getting bigger, there is still plenty of growing room in there, which allows him to twist and turn. Your little champs weight about 10 ounces at the fifth month of pregnancy. Now you should understand that if you are 20 weeks pregnant, then you are in month fifth of pregnancy. Only four months left to go. Now we will discuss about the symptoms or the feelings of a pregnant woman at the stage of 20th weeks. Number 1. Hair and nail growth. You might also be noticing that your nails are stronger and your hair is growing faster than usual and feeling thicker and fuller. You can thank pregnancy hormones again, which trigger a surge in circulation that brings extra nutrients to hair and nail cells. But even though your nails might be long, they can also turn dry and brittle and though you may love your lavish locks now, don't get too attached. Your good hair, they run ends with delivery. Feeding your growing appetite. Are you in the hunger zone? What weeks of nausea and food aversions behind you? You may be more than ready to make up for lost eating time. Moreover, crackers, hello for curse meals, heartburn and indigestion. If you are looking for a simple heartburn fix, try chewing a piece of sugarless gum after meals. The increased saliva it produces neutralizes gastric acids and helps from four spills back into the stomach. Occasional headaches. Do you find that your headache crop up when you are overheated in windowless stuffy spaces or under fluorescent lighting? Be sure to take fresh air breaks outside a few times a day and rest in layers to avoid getting too hot which could trigger a headache. Faintness or dizziness. Stuffy hot rooms can be the cause of more than just headaches. They can also cause lightheadedness, especially when your body is already generating lots of heat for that little when you're looking in your oven. Stay cool by taking frequent breaks for fresh air and wearing low sweating clothes. Leg cramps. Experts aren't clear on that causes like cramps during pregnancy, but one theory is that they are triggered by compressed blood vessels in the legs, a consequence of extra weight and sweating. Help the blood circulation throughout your body more easily and minimize cramping by putting your feet up and you can and drink plenty of fluids. Edema or swelling in feet and ankles. If water retention in your ankles and feet is causing you pain, be sure to wear comfy, no tight shoes when you are out in switching to slippers when you get home. Also, white tight socks or pantyhose that can cut off blood flow. You want to keep fluids flowing freely to minimize swelling in your lower extremities. Your innie become an outie. Your cute little inny belly button may suddenly morph into an outie as your uterus pushes your abdomen forward. If you don't like the new look, don't worry, your navel will go back to the way it was after delivery. Your back pain. At 5 months pregnant, your posture may start to change as you adjust to your growing belly. As your bump grows, your center of gravity shifts. This can cause some strain on your low back as your muscles have to work extra hard to support this extra weight and your changing shape. Try exercises that strengthen your back muscles and make sure you sit in chair with good back support or prop a pillow behind you. If your back pain is causing too much discomfort, get help from your healthcare provider. Nasal congestion, stuffy nose, nosebleeds, or maybe a runny nose. These issues can be caused by pregnancy hormones, which can dry out the mucous membranes in your nasal passages. Saline drop might help relieve some of the congestions, and running a humidifier in your bedroom at night can also help. Braxton Hicks contraction. It is possible you will start to experience these practice contractions this month. These can feel like a mild tightening or a more painful cramp in your abdomen. 
skin pigmentation fluctuating pregnancy hormones can lead to increased melanin produce production triggering darkening of the skin at various places in many pregnant women the skin typically darkens around the forehead cheeks and nose in the form of a mask such a condition is colloquially called the mask of pregnancy bleeding gums some pregnant women develop pregnancy gingivitis or swollen tender gums due to high estrogen level leads to bleeding gums constipation bowel movements become difficult due to increased pro- progesterone levels this causes constipation palpitations some women experience heart palpitations due to a high pulse rate and heart rate noticeable veins you will likely notice permanent veins below the skin surface darkening of nipples the nipples may become darkened and mammary glands may enlarge too expect movement from baby you have probably started to feel your baby's very first movement between 18 weeks and now we want you may think the subtle motions are butterflies gas or a grumbling tummy change in the center of gravity a change in the center of gravity may make you affect your balance while walking shortness of breath as the uterus puts pressure on your diaphragm you may experience difficulty in breathing mood swings hormonal fluctuations results in mood swings and food craving now we will discuss the hot topic about the baby's development your baby's skin will get coated in a thick creamy and protective covering called the vernix this help protects the baby's fragile skin from the amniotic fluids Your baby's muscles and bones will become denser and his hands, legs, fingers and toes will define. His eyebrows, eyelids, eyelashes, hair, ears and nails will start forming. Your baby will now be able to stretch open his eyes a bit, yawn, suck on his thumb, kick and move around. He will also be able to twist and turn around. Your baby will now be able to make facial expressions. His schedule consists of sleeping and waking. During this time, your baby's fingerprints will form. He also develops genitals at this stage. Your baby starts hearing sounds. Therefore, outside noises can noises can disturb him. His brain will develop further. By the 18th week, your little one's immune system will develop too. By the 20th week, the nervous system starts to function. The endocrine gland and the spleen will start performing their roles. Your baby may assume the head down position. He will develop sensitivity to light. Now we will discuss about the do's and don'ts. First, we will discuss the do's. If you are gender conscious then you can identify the baby's gender at this stage you ask your doctor then he will tell you about the gender increase your vitamin c intake incorporate foods like broccoli oranges and tomatoes in your fifth month pregnancy diet for vitamin c take natural supplements eating dry fruits like dates almonds pistachios and walnuts can prove beneficial during pregnancy eat a high fiber diet include fiber in your diet to battle constipation and hemorrhoids sit in a good posture while the growing belly maintaining a good sitting and standing posture is important a good posture can also ease the aches and pains that occur during pregnancy stand under a cooling shower To deal with rashes on the breast, under arms or a groin area, take a shower with cool water. Avoid sitting or standing for a long time. To improve blood circulation and avoid cramps and aches, refrain from sitting or standing for long. Get up and move around at regular intervals. Take rest. Taking adequate rest and sleeping well during pregnancy is essential to reduce pregnancy's related stress. and fatigue if you can't sleep for long hours take power naps adopt a comfortable sleeping position the expanding belly makes certain sleeping positions uncomfortable try and sleep on your left side a pregnancy pillow between the legs can provide comfort wear comfortable footwear wear flats and avoid heels at all cost you will find that your shoe size may be slightly bigger now but you need not worry as it is due to swelling 
Rest assured, your shoe size will return to normal after childbirth. Now we will discuss about don'ts or the things to avoid in pregnancy or at the fifth month. Avoid eating junk food. Stay away from junk food during pregnancy. It can cause gastritis and nausea. Also, restrict the intake of fried foods and sweets. Don't hold in your pee. During pregnancy, you are at a greater risk of developing a urinary tract infection or UTI. So, if you have the urge to urinate frequently, don't delay it or it might lead to infections. Avoid sudden and jerky movements. Getting up abruptly from the bed or a sitting position causes dizziness or faintness to so get up slowly and take your time to walk around the house. Now there are some warning signs. If you notice any of the following symptoms, contact your doctor immediately. For example, vaginal bleeding, a temperature higher than 100.4 degree Fahrenheit, belly, pelvic pain or severe cramping, painful urination or dark colored urine, vomiting that lasts for more than 24 hours or gets worse, increased or foul smelling vaginal discharge. Ultrasound scan at 5 months of pregnancy. Your doctor may suggest a mild pregnancy scan to check the well-being of your baby and to see how your baby is growing or your pregnancy is progressing. This comprehensive scan is also called anomaly scan because one of the purpose of the scan is to look for structural abnormalities in the fetus. The doctor may help you see your baby's face, limbs, the major organs as well as his heart on the scan. Some tips for the dad to be Ask your spouse to help you with the household chores, create pleasant environment at home, accompany you to ultrasound checkups, spend quality time with you, go shopping with your you for maternal essentials, give you a foot and neck massage if you need it. Hope you have find this video useful and get to know all about fifth month of pregnancy. If you like this video, then share it with your friend and family members and also subscribe my channel to encourage me to make such valuable videos for you. Thank you.